In this chapter, we will talk about the most beautiful group of Jasper, the Orbit Jasper. Mm, orbit Jasper are a, a special kind of chemical Jasper that are Jasper produced, formed by precipitation directly from solution instead of transformation of opal, glass, or organic matter like wood that are characteristic of the first three kind of Jasper that we study in the first uh, chapter of this conference. Okay, uh, chemical Jasper <coughs> can be mm, classified in laminated Jasper, that they are the most common structure that is found in chemical jasper, the lamina, and uh, uh, some secondary phenomena form uh, two very popular groups that, that are orbit jasper and breadth jet jasper. And a special group, jasper gate, is a group of um, jasper, jasper mixed to chalcedony that are characteristic of a boundary between jasper and dagger. I will show you some picture uh, just for show, we show you the beautiful of this group of Jasper uh, that uh, are not to be confused with orbicular Jasper that are another structure and another way to form. Imperial Jasper is one of the more popular or, or orbit Jasper from Mexico this is the rose, uh, a very big nodule, one of the best <coughs> piece of this kind of jasper. This is another imperial jasper nodule. This kind is less colored, but the shape of the orb is very neat. Uh, also, uh, it's possible to see the primary lamination that not always is erased by the the orbs. Very popular is the Bruno Jasper from Idaho and one of his beauty is this clue, this uh, shade of color that gives some uh, three-dimensional sh shape uh, to, to, the, to the orbs. Very nice. Also is used for make very beautiful cabochon. It's another Bruno Jasper. This probably the most famous, the Morrisonite, is a Jasper from Oregon, from the Hawaii mountain that is where most of the orbit Jasper is found. And this is a Jasper in vain. This is another Horizonite with different color. Another vein, very neat with many colors. Another orbicular orbit jasper is uh, Blue Mountain. Is uh, the feeling of big cavity and uh, uh, very big uh, tanderek uh, is uh, well is found the Willow Creek Jasper in Heidel, uh, same as Bruno Jasper, uh, they are found inside the Thunder Egg, another Willow Creek, another Willow Creek. This is a small nodule, and this is a very big slab with orbs of different color that pass from white to red to green. Ellipso Jasper is a, a small group of uh, orbit Jasper with the orb not so neat and uh, it's possible to, to see the first uh, primary lamination but it's quite uh, beautiful the color. Uh, this is uh, an Anastasi Jasper is uh, from a deposit a mm, little bit secret in always in the Idaho Oregon border and this is because uh, our, uh, this group of Jasper is so popular between collectors that uh, many of the deposits are secret. 
This is another small deposit. The cabinet jasper also from one of them. And uh, outside from this area in around the world, there are really few <coughs> uh, jasper with orbs, but probably in the future we, we will have uh, many new finds because I, I, I'm not sure they are so rare, but th the difficulty is to find it. And uh, mm, this is from Madagascar, it's called Polychrom Jasper. Uh, it's characterized by this red band around. And this uh, is a very common jasper, but it's rare to find orb inside. And the orbs are typically very small and numerous another polychrome another two samples from the same deposit uh, when there is not the red is called misty mountain I'm not sure but I think it's the same same area this is a very big slab of misty mountain this is uh, a 80 centimeter slab and you can see many many orbs one beside the other and this is from Italy, this is uh, just uh, one piece, it's from Museo uh, of Masulla Museum in Sardinia and uh, it's a jasper uh, from this area in Sardinia. So, how mm, they form the orbs? Um, I noted uh, uh, when I start to cut uh, an opal from Ethiopia, this uh, hydrophan opal from Ethiopia, uh, hydrophan is a kind of opal, very porous, and when you wet it, you put in water, become uh, completely transparent. So, um, if uh, a very high porosity uh, in the property to um, absorb uh, a huge quantity of water. So this water uh, has been absorbed by the opal, but an air bubble rests trapped inside. So the water enters from all around, from all the surface, and mm, going inside, uh, this air cannot escape. So it's trapped inside. And uh, uh, structures similar are not rare in uh, fire opal from Mexico. This uh, structure that are uh, hard, not so mm, so sh short time phenomena like this one, and they are uh, in a hard opal, uh, so you, you don't need to wet it to see, and um, often they are empty, so uh, probably the uh, the the precursor opal when is you it was not so completely hardened, uh, hardened uh, starting from the edge of the this sphere, uh, leaving inside uh, liquid. And uh, uh, after the hardness of all the nodule, the, uh, the filling of the air bubble area uh, was emptied, so it remained uh, empty. So probably a similar phenomenon. Uh, appear in, in orbit Jasper with the difference that here you can repeat the phenomenon many many times. So we imagine uh, the formation uh, of the orb uh, in like this. We, we, we draw a thunder egg, but just for make an example, it can be a fractal or any kind of chemical Jasper with primary lamination. And uh, in the wet season, the rainy season, water enters in the porosity of the jasper slowly, slowly, until it leaves an air bubble inside. At the boundary between the dry bubble, the, the inside of the bubble, and the outside that is wet at the boundary, polymerization occurs. And uh, when polymerization occurs, it uh, hardens. So this becomes Jasper, more hard, and uh, is more impermeable. Uh, uh, so uh, water cannot enter inside. So next year, when uh, the nodule uh, wet again, 
uh, water, leave a second bubble uh, inside uh, the nodule, but this bubble cannot enter inside the, the first one because it's, it's just um, it's just hardened. So must to um, uh, to, to lie to stay beside the first. So he, he, he make this shape in the like touching the first one and uh, stay beside it. So uh, the repeating of this phenomena, so wetting and drying the, the nodule, can make a, a repetition of the formation of the orbs. So in this uh, this, this di diagram, we uh, harden the jasper from the inside to outside. This is the opposite of agate that mm, make a band from outside going inside uh, until the end is the quartz in the middle or is opposite of uh, any geode with crystals that crystallize from the wall of the cavity toward the center so jasper uh, solidify so become hard from the inside to outside These are the possible geometry that uh, we I can imagine for the um, arrangement of uh, um, uh, air bubble beside the, uh, the other. So orbs uh, arranged one over the other. So the more simple to, uh, to understand is concentric. So all the bubbles are concentric. This is probably the most rare and occur when the nodules are more or less uh, round like this one the more common mm, is uh, lateral so the second the second bubble is beside the first with elongate shape and uh, the first is the bigger and then they uh, stay one beside the other in the, uh, the direction of the, the elongation of, of the nodule. This is more typical of tender egg that they have filling of the fracture of the tender egg or in fracture filling in Jasper. So the lateral is uh, moving uh, beside the first. Um, we imagine the incomplete uh, <coughs> geometry that is when a kind of concentric uh, arrangement is not complete so uh, the, the second bubble is flattened around the first but not enclosing completely the first one and then there is a case a little bit rare when uh, I make a donut so uh, I can have the same bubble all around the first and is the case when we have two almost symmetric um, orbs one beside one opposite side of the, the first one and this is the same uh, the same bubble all around the, mm, the, the first one but this depends uh, many of how you cut the stone so if you cut an incomplete uh, bubble uh, orbs uh, like this for example you have a donut shape so this is uh, just a more theoric uh, is is very difficult to uh, to individuate in, in a slab. Mm, then I hypothesize that uh, um, uh, the bubble is proportional to, to the size of the nodule. So I uh, I see that big nodule have big bubble and the small nodule have small bubble. So um, the I I make an experiment. I take three nodules uh, from the same deposit. One is three centimeter, one nine, one eighteen. This is very big, and uh, this is from Imperial Jasper, Mexico. So I reproduce in scale in this uh, in this picture, in this diagram, and then I rescale. So I, I put uh, I introduce <coughs> the picture inside this oval shape. 
this one so I scale each picture to have all all the same so I see that the the size of the first orbs is more or less all the same so this is this means that is proportional so mm, small small nodule a small uh, small bubble and this pro this bubble is proportional to the uh, quantity uh, the, the size of the nodule that means the quantity of air that can be trapped in, 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 in the nodule so um, big nodule big big bubble but also the shape of no of the nodule is important uh, the orbs uh, line up according to the elongation of the nodule as we see for the uh, lateral geometry so uh, they stay usually at the center of the elongation at the same distance from both sides this is typical of uh, Tanderek where his the, the, the feeling is branched and the, bub the bubble air are equidistant from the branch of the of the Tanderek also when Jasper is in fracture the orbs are more or less equidistant from the side of the, the, the fracture this is a special example uh, typical of Willow Creek when there is a, an impermeable sur surface uh, so uh, Willow Creek have uh, Mm, sometimes uh, surface crystallized it by uh, with quartz or chalcedony and this lining of chalcedony is responsible to make impermeable this uh, surface waterproof so uh, the, the water mm, fill the porosity of the jasper coming from the left from the up upper side from the lower side but not from this side not from the right so the bubble mm, move in this direction and can be trapped beside the surface the impermeable sur surface this the same that happened mm, when the second bubble arrived and mm, found the first bubble that is impermeable so the second then uh, lie beside the first and so on so <coughs> the impermeable surface is always the beginning of the uh, lateral geometry of orbs this is another example also in Willow Creek with this impermeable surface and all the orbs uh, starting from here and coming to toward the this direction toward the center of the nodule and uh, um, also we can note the the orbs are, are gradually smaller from the center to outside and more and more stretched around the first so the the space available is diminishing uh, so uh, the first volume is the more abundant because the more jasper volume is present but the second bubble I have a volume a little bit less because the space uh, filled by hair porosity is less and the bubble is more and more stretched so the effect is that we have uh, thinner and thinner orbs going outside uh, outwards okay the hardening of the of the orbs occur from the outside toward the inside so as we see in opal in fire opal uh, the the orb mm, hardened and in this case we can see that this is hardened but inside it was um, always filled with wet jasper and um, this when dry uh, be, be lose volume and make fracturing by loss of volume this loss of volume this is a fracture pattern very similar to septarian so 
So this is also very similar to septarium. And we can see that the fracture uh, that are like mud fracture mm, going uh, go from they are V shaped go from the in to here, but never reach the surface, meaning that the surface was hardened. And the fracture mm, are more uh, open it toward the center where more water was present. So mm, the hardening of the nodule occur from the center to to outside, but the hardening of every uh, orbs is from the outside toward the inside. And this is a case <coughs> uh, is a, a part of the deposit of imperial jasper where uh, all the center of the orb are like this. But in this nodule, we are in an intermediate case where two phases occur, the first with cracking and the second without cracking. Another proof that uh, uh, the, the orbs uh, remain uh, plastic uh, inside is that in, in this case, in this case of imperial jasper, in this sample, we can see that uh, here there was the center, this is the edge of the nodule. So this was the orbs, like this, and we can see inside the orbs, we have a second generation of orbs. So the orbs um, hardened, but the inside of the orb remain uh, plastic and can have a second life, making a second generation of orbs one by one. So we can have in every in every orbs we have many second uh, generation orbs of smaller size. And also we, we can have a second generation inside the fracture. We we see in the the last chapter that uh, a late phenomena of uh, laminate jasper is the presence of big fracture that in some case can be open because uh, of dissolution, probably dissolution, and uh, this fracture are filled by uh, an, uh, another jasper that have another generation of orbs with different color and different shape. So this is mm, a resume of the origin of an orbit jasper that is exactly the same that we see for laminated jasper, except that we have the the last secondary phenomenon of orb formation and uh, when we have orbs we are sure that we are talking about uh, a chemical jasper but we see that there is many kind of lamina so not all laminated jasper have orb inside so the process is the same the cavity in was filled with uh, a colloidal solution this colloidal solution precipitate jasper in the wet season and in the dry season this jasper uh, polymerized become hard uh, loss volume and make crack a desiccation crack so this process can repeat until the nodule is completely filled or just uh, partially filled uh, if we have a half nodule uh, with the free upper surface and the portion of jasper uh, can re re homogenize it by the formation of orb or not uh, and uh, secondary phenomena like uh, slump and uh, uh, gravitative uh, movement inside so this is the formation of orb jasper that is a special group of laminated jasper